I think that's true to some extent. I think uh, smart has not replaced sustainable. I think rather it has overshadowed and encompassed that. Um, it has encompassed it. Uh, it has encompassed it in the sense that many of the smart initiatives are really um, also about addressing challenges, societal challenges related to sustainability. And it has overshadowed the term uh, sustainable because you know if you look at the policy discourse now, smart is much more prominent. Smart cities is much more prominent than eco cities or other types of uh, labels. Well, I think in the Netherlands the policy context is quite distinctive. Uh, it's called in Dutch it's called the polder model. So the way uh, government and private and the private sector work together is is, is rather distinctive. Um, also, I think in the Netherlands a lot of experiments are being conducted, um, and especially this sheer amount of experiments, and, and uh, that that's that's quite distinct. Well, in the Netherlands, uh, we looked at a number of cities initially, the five biggest cities, uh, especially Eindhoven, Utrecht, uh, Rotterdam and The Hague. And there are also smaller cities that do uh, activities related to smart cities, such as Delft or Assen. But uh, the main one uh, we are looking at is Amsterdam, because Amsterdam has by far the largest number of initiatives. And also the way uh, the smart city is uh, organized in Amsterdam is different from, from other cities, because uh, in Amsterdam, uh, a public-private partnership was created to uh, facilitate all kinds of smart city experiments. And, uh, um, and it's done so quite fruitfully, uh, also because Amsterdam is internationally also known for its smart city experiments. Uh, so uh, Amsterdam is the biggest one in the Netherlands, and that's the one we're looking at. Well, I think it's important to note that uh, uh, what many uh, delegations uh, you know, from foreign cities want to learn when they come to Amsterdam is they want to know how uh, uh, this cooperation between uh, different government departments and the private sector, how this is organized, uh, um, because it's done quite productively. Um, uh, and they also want to break their own silos in their own governments and, 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 and cooperate in a productive way with the private sector. However, I think this is a, a, a very difficult uh, and this is distinctive about the policy setting in the Netherlands, so it's not an easily transferable lesson. Uh, one of the things I do think that, or two things I think that people can take away from, from, from the city of Amsterdam is uh, the way it, 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 it enables the organization of a, a type of ecosystem around the smart city uh, to create a network of, of, of private parties and, uh, uh, and to engage them in, in, in some kind of uh, uh, smart city activity. And the other thing is also the way citizens are engaged. Uh, there are a few organizations within the platform and also within the wider setting of Amsterdam that are, uh, are quite open to citizen involvement. Uh, I think these two things are, are distinct uh, for Amsterdam.